Hello everybody. Today you're going to learn how to create PDF templates inside your Sweet CRM system and how to adjust them to your needs. My name is Bastian Hammer, your go-to expert when it comes to all things CRM, marketing automation, e-commerce and sales integration. Okay, so let's go. I assume that you've got your Sweet CRM system up and running. You maybe already have like lead or customer data inside your CRM system and now you want to take it to the next level and create maybe quotations or invoices directly inside your Sweet CRM. Fortunately, this works fairly simple. Check out my, my video on the quotations and on the invoices inside your Sweet CRM system. But for this one, we want to adjust the PDF template. So when you create a quotation, when you create an invoice and in some other modules, you can generate a PDF from the record that you're looking at at the moment. And this PDF file should just look according to your CI, your corporate identity, or um, according to your needs and requirements, including your logo and everything. So in order to do this, there's one specific module or one special module, which is called PDF templates. So I open this one and now we're simply going to start from a new one for our invoices. So since we're working with multiple languages, maybe we have um, multiple versions, which you want to have like showing different versions of the invoice to different people as well. This could happen and therefore I would simply name it invoice EN. Assigned to logical whoever is responsible for the templates. So the type now is for the invoices. As you can see, there are more, more modules where you can generate the PDFs from the records there. We've got contracts, accounts, contacts and leads. Mostly it's being used for quotations and for invoices in my projects. And now you can do something which makes everything much, much simpler. You can load an invoice sample. So I'm going ahead, click this one. And as you can see, ooh, this filled out a lot for you already and you have to do way less work. Work it will still be because you have to adjust it. So switching it to active or not active, sometimes you have different versions of those and you want to keep them inside your CRM system for historical reasons. Maybe you want to, um, uh, in case somebody asks for an old invoice again and you changed your payment terms now, you still want to show the old payment terms on the old invoice because they just uh, lost it in their inbox or wherever. And then you can simply deactivate it. So your stuff at the moment doesn't use this template anymore, but it would be possible to activate it for this specific request of the customer. In order to work with this, you can um, version this one here as well. So now we've got the version 0.1, for instance, if you want to go that deep into the um, organizational side of things. Page size, 84 letter legal, um, whichever fits into your country, you should recognize it right away and portrait, like how you want to print it, portrait or in a landscape orientation works either way. Usually portrait would just fit nicely. So, and now we've got our body field here and inside the body field, it can, you can just become very creative now with adding your own logo with adding additional sentences or notes or whatever that you want to show here in different languages. If you want to, you can even add variables from the, from the module itself and print it here. So let's give this one a try. For instance, let's assume you want to have the invoice and want to add the invoice name behind it invoice. And then I would simply go to insert fields invoices. So here we've got the different modules, access to the different modules. It will show you invoices right away because here at the top, we are building it for the invoices currently. 
but it would be possible as well to let's say the assigned users so in case this invoice is currently assigned to the key account manager and then it would be possible to load the information thank you very much your key account manager and then the name of this assigned user but for now we just want to have the invoice and inside the invoice we've got the title which is yeah kind of the name field the required system required field by sweet crm now i would have my cursor here so i click here and then i use the insert button and it will insert the variable into my template now so that's quite convenient you know this one here is the field name um, check out my video on the studio and the field names and how to configure more fields or change the field and this field name comes from the database and if the pdf is being generated it will pull the value for each record from the database and render it into this variable so very convenient because you can do way more with this as you can see for instance prepared for here we've got the billing account address street city and here we've got prepared by modified by name so who last time modified the invoice here and you've got the due date of the invoice you've got the date entered so just in case you want to get rid of this one and not choose to not show it that would be possible as well you can just remove it or delete it then you've got the invoice number you can configure it on the invoices for this one again check out my video on on sweetcm and invoicing then you've got the line items so this one will automatically iterate through all the associated line items for you very convenient as well and then you've got some totals here so if you want to get rid of it if you don't want to show it if you want to rename it if you yeah, want to adjust it anyhow then you can do that as well um, later on we're going to print out one invoice and we're going to see what it looks like in the printed version then we've got the header just in case you have something in the header then you can add this here as well in case you're working with um, your invoice become very long and then this one makes sense because here you've got for instance in footer it's easier to see the page number so here we've got page number one two three just in case your invoice becomes long and it wraps over several pages and then you've got this here incremented for you so that becomes much easier to read and to um, yeah, sort in the correct order same for the header so if you want to have a header and you want to have the same um, logo and the same header on every single page you would enter this here rather instead of doing this here but it works either way you have to be a bit careful it can be cumbersome to configure this especially if it breaks over a couple of pages because um, yeah how big is the food how big is the header what will be displayed where will it break so this is a bit tricky and it will definitely help if you know some html and let's quickly go to this one here margin left right margin top bottom so these are just the margins on the page itself here it makes sense if you want to print it for instance and you put it into a folder later on maybe the margin on the left side should be a big bit wider than the margin on the right side and here we've got a margin for the header and for the footer as well in case you want to give it a little bit more space so that it doesn't look too um too uh, yeah, tidy up or like 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 too too crunched inside your inside your page so here you've got more variables as you can see so date ymd it is the php um the php representation of the current date in the format year month day you can play around with this one as well if you want to and change it according to how it should look like in your country and yeah well let's just give it a try save this so we've got the invoice en01 so I'm simply heading over to the invoices and open one for giving it a try. 
So we take either way of those of, of those test invoices here. So you can find the functionality to print or generate a PDF here. Print as PDF. And then I will simply click on it. It will ask me where to store my invoice. It will generate and download it to your computer. And then after it's being done, you can click on it and you can see it looks roughly like what we expected it to see because we have like a, what you see is what you get editor. We configured it and now we would need to start working on yeah, on the adjustments on how we want it to look like because maybe this is not matching our expectations for any reason. And in order to do this, I would usually keep the result open. And if you have two screens, just have like the result on one screen and what you're doing here on the other screen, you can go back into the PDF template and start to edit. So if you want to have a different logo, for instance, you have to upload it. Best of all, if you would upload it into your Sweet CRM folder somehow. So what you can do is you can look into or easier just switch to HTML. So this can be a bit tricky. If you know HTML, it might be much easier to to work with this one. It should be possible from the front end just by clicking all these fields here. But sometimes there are some details which can hardly be adjusted with just the buttons here. And you would um, rather it would rather work better if you use HTML. So for instance, here we've got the source of the image itself. So this one is inside the themes default image company logo PNG. I want to replace this with my own logo, own logo, and I uploaded it to this location. Because it's not part of, um, of, of any theme, it's my own logo. Maybe you can upload it into a different folder if you have like a certain structure underneath your CRM system. It just needs to be available for the CRM system from your, um, from your system, um, for your web server, basically. So I update this one and you can see, so here it's simply the, the header of my website. And then I can save it, go back to my invoice and do the same thing again. I print as PDF, it will generate, now it will get the, into the next version. Even this makes sense. As you can see, if you stay in the same folder, your browser automatically will append a one, two, three, four. So you can see the versioning. And just in case something went totally wrong, you can maybe go back and compare versions as well. So that looks kind of good, but for instance, here on the address, I don't have enough space to the logo. At the same time, I don't like the table here as much and the color is not the right one for me as well. So I would try to adjust this one a little bit. So therefore I'm going back to the PDF template. I click on edit. So and now, in order to give this one a bit more space, I would simply add one more page break or one more paragraph here. Then for the, for the color, it is a bit more difficult. So you see here are several options. So here we can edit the table. And for the table, we'll have to see whether the color comes from the table. No, as it seems like not. Or maybe it comes from the cell itself. So we've got the table row properties, we've got table cell properties. And here, as you can see, it comes from the from the table cell. So I don't like this color, maybe I don't want any color. So you can either remove it or just make it white should work either way. And then here the same thing. So we want to remove here this one as well. At the same time, you just got a glimpse of it. So if you want to adjust the width a little bit, it seems like the address should naturally get a bit more space than what we have to say on the right side. So I want to distribute this by 30 and 70%. 
to make it look maybe a little bit more, uh, yeah, just in case if there's a long address, then it shouldn't break. So as you can see, you can adjust like the the width and you can adjust like the um, the color and everything. It would basically possible really to go into all details and customize everything according to your needs, wherever you see the option to do so. Check as well this one out. So it's very similar to, to Word, any Word processor or to anything when you um, work in forums or in Facebook or wherever if you post something online, sometimes those websites allow you to use some CSS or HTML formatting and this would be coming from here, those details. And if you need to rescue anything or if you need to transfer it, even if you need to maybe version it or, or use an, like an external editor, you can do this as well. So it's entirely possible to open the HTML here, control A, control C, and paste it, for instance, in any online, what you see is what you get editor. If you have like an own one, then it's possible to do so as well. And maybe you're more comfortable with something else. Maybe you got used to another one and then it would be possible to use this one here and then copy and paste this one back into Sweet CM. Just be a bit careful if you're using any sort of page builder and the HTML, which is generated here, contains something of the page builder. It will not work anymore on your PDF most likely because it just doesn't exist in the CRM system. So keep it like plain, simple HTML as much as possible. See what use these things are for you here and how you can customize it according to your needs in order to get like results that, you, that you're fine with, that you can use inside your um, company and in the communication with the customers because after all, most of those things go out to the customers or to the potential customers and they will see it. So spend a little bit more time here and just get comfortable with this. Or if it doesn't work at all, um, contact me or find anybody else who is comfortable with HTML and can help you building, building the details here up. It can take a couple of hours in the worst case, especially if you have like different versions or so, but usually it should be a bit faster and you can um, partly succeed or even completely succeed by just clicking around here and configuring things to your needs. Okay, let's quickly recap. So in order to generate a PDF file or to print your records into a PDF file, you would need to first produce a PDF template that works via the PDF templates module. And then you have to configure it. This can be quite, um, quite cumbersome, but there's a lot of configuration and most of the HTML that you can adjust here will later on be reflected inside your PDF file. In order to generate the PDF from your record, you would go into your, for instance, invoices, quotation in your accounts or into your contracts and then simply press on a print as PDF and SweetCM will use the template that you have created and that you've selected and will generate a PDF file for you. Okay, thank you, much. Thank you very much for watching. That's all for today. See you next time. Bye.